right, this is a must-have book for the grilling enthusiast. Butcher on the Block features butchers from around the world with expert tips and everyday recipes. Author Matt Moore joins us now with a grilled pork tenderloin. I think this is such a great idea, right? I always think about asking the butcher, well, what cut of meat for this? But I never think about, okay, recipes. How do I cook this? <laughs> I think uh, the butchers are probably some of the best cookbook authors in the entire world because right. when you go into their shop, you know, they've got a utility to be able to bring you not only maybe an interesting cut, but also a great recipe to deliver on that cut. They want repeat customers. So we traveled all across the United States to the south of France. Uh, incredible stories, incredible recipes. That's really the, the heart and soul of this and book. And they're all in the book. I, I love your books because I think you have the greatest titles. Your <laughs> other two, tell us. Uh, Serial Griller was my homage to live fire grilling. And yeah. then The South's Best Butts. It's not a calendar, it's a cookbook. <laughs> exactly. Traveling around the country, uh, talking to pit masters. So a lot of fun here. And that gave me the opportunity to kind of combine my worlds of barbecue and grilling, but also focus on a lot of different recipes and techniques that we find you know, across the globe. So today, uh, couldn't come to Chicago without doing a little bit of sausage. Oh yes. Uh, my wife volunteers my services all the time at my house in Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. I feel like we are entertaining on a nightly basis. And so when people come over, I kind of feel this, it's probably self-induced pressure um, that there's got to be an appetizer, there's right, got to be a main. Right, something when they come. Yeah, there's got to be sides, there's got to be desserts. And so what I tell people, you know, we're grilling today, it's still summertime, I'm always grilling at my house. Go to the local butcher shop and oftentimes they're going to be making sausages in-house. So. Ooh. I picked up some hot Italians, but sometimes it's andouille sausage. It could be brats. You've already got the grill fired, and sure. so just put those on, and as your guests arrive, you can serve it with a little bit of a, a Creole or a Dijon mustard. It just really kind of brings that all together. So a lot of fun here, but the star of the show is going to be a pork tenderloin, okay? Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes, if you go to your local butcher, they are going to do a little bit of the work that's necessary by trimming the silver skin that you'll find typically that just connects to the muscle here. So I've already trimmed this, mm -hmm. um, but if if you don't and you pick it up in the grocery store, oftentimes they're on sale for just a couple bucks a pound. It's, it's such incredible. an affordable dish to have. Yes. And so you'll want to make sure that you trim that off. And that's the same thing with beef. You're going to find it with pork. Uh, any game, you'll find the same thing. Even chicken tenderloins will often have a little bit of that silver skin right. that you need to take out. So better trim that off. Better trim yourself. that off. So we've got our grill. I've got a Weber Genesis fired up. It's what did really you put hot. on this guy? I've just got a little bit of a marinade of, um, you know, some garlic. We've got some soy because we're going to marry some of those flavors that we've got with a beautiful barbecue sauce as well. So that's going to come on. You can see that I've got these beautiful ones that I've cooked already. Oh, yeah. And the key here is that we don't want to overcook our pork, okay? That's always so, tough because you have to cook the pork, right? Otherwise, it's gonna make you sick. I'm here to tell you that the trichinosis fears of the, the 60s, 70s, and before that, they're, they're really all gone, right? Oh. So we wanna cook this. Even the USDA actually re refined their, their temperatures from 160 degrees down to 145. So what I like really? to do okay. is pull this off the grill at about 140. I'm gonna let it rest up to 145. Because it keeps cooking itself. Keeps a little cooking bit. itself. We're gonna let that sit. Now, we are gonna put together a little bit of a, a Korean inspired barbecue sauce. Wrote the book on barbecue, so I couldn't, you know, do butcher yes, on the block without the sauce. Yes, you gotta have barbecue, but this so, gochujang is gochujang. Like, so. Yeah, this is a secret ingredient. You can find this at any grocery store. That's it's so accessible. So it's not really, really spicy. I've got apple cider vinegar here. So we're doing kind of a North Carolina style sauce, but people in North Carolina would go crazy because all of a sudden I'm going to start changing it. Right. In North Carolina, it's just apple cider vinegar, salt, and crushed red pepper. We got a lot of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add. This stuff about is so flavorful, though. Super My son flavorful. introduced me. It's got a little bit of that umami flavor, not too much spice. About six tablespoons of that. We are going to add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of thickening just with our traditional ketchup. And then we will add some soy sauce. Again, kind of married to those Asian flavors. And then a blend of some salt, pepper, and garlic powder also. And again, this is going to be a really loose, uh, styled, um, kind of like a, a mop sauce almost, if you will. Hmm. It's going to give it a lot of flavor. It's not going to be too spicy. This is something that you can just literally do just like this. If you want to allow it to maybe cook on the grill and simmer down and reduce, it'll oh. help thicken as well. Okay. And then we just take our pork, right? And so whenever we want to come and slice this, We've let this rest for a little bit of time. I'm just gonna come in here and just give it kind of a nice slice into these simple medallions. And you'll see that we're looking for even a little bit of pinkness. So you, pink is okay. Pink is totally cool here, especially in a tenderloin, because remember, this, this inner part of the meat is, is part of the muscle. It hasn't touched anything on the outside. So when we make like a oh. burger or we have ground pork or something like that, we wanna make sure we cook it up to 165. Right. But in this instance, this, this entire muscle is contained. We've got a perfect kind of medium to almost a 
just mid rare plus, if I you bet will. It's much more moist. You just much changed my moist. life here. It's super <laughs> tender. And like I said, it's super affordable too. So you could just take this, you could dunk it in here, give it a you know a try. We've got it rounded out with a beautiful meat salad. Yes, love it's a that. pasta salad. Uh, I just kind of changed my own recipe today. It calls for some carrots, some celery, and some olives. I just picked up some jardinera, threw that in, made my life a little bit easier. Oh, amazing. So frisada, we've got salami. Just really a home run You've dish. got Labor Day covered <laughs> and so many more days of barbecuing. Thanks so much for Thank coming you so much in for again. Me Love back. to have you here. Butcher on the Block is available wherever books are sold. You can also check it out online at mattrmore.com. We're going to post these recipes that we made today, wgntv.com slash midday. All right, time to start with the sausage, <laughs> right? Hot off the grill. Mm. Yum.